Welcome to Data Project Hub. Today's video, we will solve a SQL interview question. So the question is, write a query to derive the net balance column based on credit or debit of the amount column. So for this, we have created a table called as transaction table. Let us query the table and let us see what are the columns available and what is the expected output. So let me query the transactions table. So here is the transactions table. So we have the first column is transaction date. The second is transaction ID, third column is transaction type, and the fourth column is amount. Now we have to write a query to derive the net balance column. So we have to create a query to get a new column which is called as the net balance based on credit or debit of the amount column. So here we have a column called as transaction type where it is marked whether the transaction is a credit transaction or a debit transaction and based on that we have to create a running sum column for the net balance and I have created an expected output in the excel file let us take a look at that as well so here is the input table which we saw in SSMS so this is the exact same table and this is the expected output that we are looking to obtain so here in the output you can see a new column which is created called as the net balance now let us see how we can obtain this result by analyzing the expected output so here we have a transaction type column the first transaction type is credit so basically the amount is getting credited to that particular bank account so the net balance is the same amount that is 50,000 so the next transaction is debit amount or the debit transaction type so which is 10,000 so basically debit means that particular amount is getting deducted from that account so here we have to subtract that 10,000 from the previous net balance so we have a value of 40,000 now the net next transaction is credit so we have to add that 20,000 to the 40,000 which we have obtained in the previous transaction so we have the result as 60,000 similarly the next two transactions are debit transactions so we have to subtract 5,000 from the 60,000 net balance from the previous transaction so we have 55,000 and the next transaction is 50,000 because here also we have the transaction type as debit and the final transaction is credit so we are crediting 30,000 to that particular account. So 30,000 plus 50,000, which will give us 80,000. So this is the expected output that we are looking to obtain in this question. Now let us go back to SSMS and write query for the same. So we require all the columns from transactions table. For that, select. And I will show you a small technique also over here. So whenever we have many number of column it is difficult to manually write individual column name that time what we can do is we can come to this object explorer then expand this corresponding table which we are looking into then we can see a column header over here then simply drag and drop this column header into the query window and you will get all the columns from that particular table now these are the columns which you have which we have from the transactions table now we have to write a expression in order to calculate the running sum for that we will use the sum as the window function over here open and close parenthesis over open and close parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we have to specify an order by close order by transaction date that is tran dat that is the first column and this is in ascending order and this column will be named as net underscore balance in this query the tricky part is to modify the expression within the sum function so that is inside this parenthesis we have to modify the column condition so that whenever it is credited that particular amount will be added and whenever it is debited that particular amount will be deducted from the balance so before that let us simply execute it with the amount column and let us see what is the result we are getting so this is taken from transactions table now execute this and we will get a result where we have a new column but it will be a net balance column basically it is the running sum it is actually not considering the transaction type and it is not deducting the particular amount when it is debited so in order to get the exact same output what we can do here is we will have to write a case statement within the sum window function and inside the parenthesis for sum function so here we will write a case case when so the column which we have to take into consideration is tran type that is transaction type equal 
credit then amount and now we have to write a second condition else minus amount and end the pay statement now let us execute this and see what is the result we are getting execute this now we have an output which is similar to the output which we saw initially in the excel file where the first record is credit so basically the net balance is 50000 second transaction is a debit transaction so the amount deducted is 10000 so the net balance will be 40000 similarly for credit 20000 40000 plus 20000 which will give us 60000 as the net balance and similarly the final net balance in that particular account is 80000 so this is the first method to solve this question there is another method which is coming to my mind as of now is using the common table expression you can try solving the question using that method and if you find more interesting method to solve similar question comment the method so that it, it will be helpful for others as well thanks for watching and if you like this video subscribe for more thank you